Breaking the wall of education. Qualified in the Budapest lab, Daniel Horvat, EduBase, Hungary. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Daniel from Hungary, and I'm today going to pre uh, present my vision of breaking the wall of education. Now, we all know that schools pretty much always stay the same. They educate you, and at a given moment in time, they test you. And if your percentage is above a threshold, you can proceed to the next level. If not, you failed. And now, uh, we all know that that percentage doesn't give a clear image of your overall understanding. After all, it's just a single number. We can do better than that in the 21st century. I'm pretty sure about that. But first, let's see the workflow that we need to update. So first, if there's a large-scale testing, the teacher first needs to compose the exam, and then print it out, hand it to the students, and then uh, the students see the exam, and then the teacher is going to correct the exams one by one, and then calculate your result to see how you've done. And that's a list of percentages, and that's the feedback to the teacher. Now, this uh, procedure is time and energy consuming with poor feedback. So as a result, in a data-driven world, data in education actually gets lost. So, our proposed solution to this is an online testing system which unlocks the full potential for getting to know a student much deeper and quicker than before in an exam. It works especially well with mathematics because we can generate automatically a wide variety of tasks. And uh, because it's online, everything is uh, instantaneous, so evaluation is also instantaneous, and you, as an educator, not only get to know the percentage right away, but several other things that would be incredibly hard or even impossible to measure otherwise. Like how many seconds a student spent on each task individually, for example, tells a lot about their strengths and weaknesses, whether they guessed or not. And because we have a technology to, to automatically generate tasks, we can also track back what they might have got wrong during their calculation. And this can point out precisely what they don't know and directly inform you about that, what they need help with. So the best part is that you're not alone, and the system will be able to make suggestions based on how other groups perform with the same tasks. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, this is not a fantasy. This system already exists and in operation, and with high school mathematics, it currently works, but we're extending it to university, and now we work in collaboration with Budapest University of Technology and Economics to see how it works in, in real practice. And as a result, in December, a math exam will be conducted in the computer laboratory by using Edubase Quiz. And we believe that this will finally, finally break the wall of education. Thanks a lot. Questions? Questions. Over here. Wait for the mic. Wait for the mic. Would it work for literature or history? Well, it would work for literature and history if there would be natural language processing implemented in the software. It currently doesn't work because natural language processing isn't implemented. Oh. But it could be extended. One more question. Over here. Do students like to be automatically evaluated? Yes, because it's instantaneous and they have, uh, they have an instantaneous feedback. So they, have, they are not nervous or excited uh, for weeks uh, to get their uh, exam back. They see instantaneously what they got wrong and what they got right. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.